Hi, I'm Brad Jacobs. I'm uh, one of the directors of the Coffee Club New Zealand. Between uh, myself and my business partner, we, uh, we operate the, the franchise for 66 cafes around the country. There was just a, a huge operational process, you know, closing down 66 cafes uh, for the first time ever um, was, a, was a process in itself, communicating with franchisees, uh, team members, landlords, um, and actually just working through that. Um, and then obviously once we, we got the cafes into a, a hibernation state was um, a nice term I heard used a few times. Um, we really then just started working with franchisees, you know, first, um, I guess probably more on a personal level um, and keeping people calm and, uh, and trying to reassure people that, that we would work through it together and that you know, um, there was a lot of initial questions coming. You know, what about rent? What about wages? What about suppliers? Um, and of course, we, we took the lead on a lot of those things for our franchisees, as, as any franchisor would do. So, and, then, and then, of course, preparing for reopening, um, we, had a, we had a massive task. Um, and one of the big unknowns was what was reopening going to look like. Um, and while the government was giving updates, we were, we were never really 100% sure what, what reopening was going to look like. So we were our team developing multiple different scenarios ready to go. So uh, that was you know, huge work for particularly the operations team and the marketing teams um, to have procedures ready, to have information ready for our team in terms of training for franchisees and, and their staff. And of course, um, there was some, some curveballs, um, some things that were thrown at us at the last minute. You know, the, the table service only um, situation for us was, was quite a big deal. Um, and with only a, a few days notice was, was quite hard to put together. And our focus was, was always to, to try and reopen with as much as, as normal as possible um, and, and get our customers, our franchisees, our team members back to a, a state of feeling familiar and safe and comfortable as quickly as possible. Our focus regionally um, has uh, not been hugely different um, because I, I guess where we were fortunate in New Zealand is that the whole country did go through the same process. Um, of course, there are some, some regions around the country that are recovering at different speeds. Uh, so Auckland CBD, for example, has been, has been a very slow, hard recovery um, and is still a long way to go. Um, and of course, there was you know, big concerns for a lot of the tourist-driven towns, so particularly Queenstown and Taupo and uh, those kind of regions. So um, the focus definitely there was to work with those franchisees more closely, uh, knowing that their recovery was probably going to be tougher than other franchisees. Um, and then once we actually got reopened, um, working very closely with those franchisees uh, to make sure that they were emotionally, mentally, financially, uh, physically, you know, keeping themselves together. Obviously, we, we identified really early that you know, using, using our professional advisors, using the bank to support us was going to be really, really important, not just for our own business, but for our franchisees. Um, so uh, obviously, Westpac was a big part of that, um, and our, our accountant was a big part of that, our lawyer, of course, a huge part. Um, and we have a, a personal business mentor, if you like, a, a facilitator of our board meetings, um, who we worked with quite a lot as well. And, and we were talking to those people during lockdown, putting plans together of what needed to happen to, to make sure that our business was uh, in a good state coming out of it. Um, and most importantly, that individual franchisees were as well. Um, and making sure that you know, we, we came out the other side of lockdown with the same number of franchisees that we went into it with, which um, we did, um, and that was the, the goal all along. So, so you know, in terms of, of, of banking, um, we, we made the decision that we needed to, to look at uh, everything possible. That included the initial, you know, sort of three month um, freeze, if you like, on, on, on our loans, on our business loans, um, and then a discussion with our business manager about a complete refinancing. Um, which of course that led to a discussion then about revised cash flows, revised budgets, P&L forecasts. Um, and so we used our accountant there um, to, to do work with us quite closely. Um, and we actually, uh, we used the regional business partners grant um, through a TEED um, and we were successful in getting some funding from that uh, to, to support our work with our accountant. Um, and of course that then all went through to, to Westpac. Um, and led to a full 
uh, full restructure of our financing, which was great. Um, and that's you know, reduced a lot of pressure um, and made sure that we're in a good position to go forward. Um, and of course, uh, taking advantage of some of the, the good interest rates that are available at the moment as well. We probably learnt that we were actually um, a lot more resilient than we, we first realised. Um, and we, we really learnt the power of our, our brand um, and the, the comeback from um, lockdown was stronger than we expected. Um, that was really nice, you know, and, and very reinforcing that, you know, um, uh, that, that we have such a strong brand. Um, we learnt that our own support office team of, of 22 plus people um, are extremely loyal to our business and uh, went through a, a, pretty, um, a pretty difficult time for a, for a number of weeks, including you know, um, salary sacrificing and, and um, uh, working you know, unusual hours and on projects remotely. Um, we, we actually learnt that we can operate our business much better remotely than we, we probably realised um, and that we can be very, very flexible in our, our working arrangements and uh, working hours and working days um, and that uh, as long as we deliver what the franchisees need it, it doesn't really matter whether we're sitting in an office in the city or, or sitting in a house in in uh, a suburban area. I guess we, we also you know, learnt some lessons of where we, we probably weren't where we needed to be. Um, so in terms of uh, online ordering presence we didn't have one at all. We had to build an online uh, ordering platform and with a, a secure payment processing um, uh, part to it within you know a week or so um, and which we did um, and our, our team put that together uh, with a third party supplier and did an amazing job but um, it opened up some gaps there where we where we were probably missing opportunity.